Hello and welcome, this is Doki Doki Literature Club and today we'll be doing a Suzuki route in Hat 2. Get straight to it. Be careful again here. Oh Christ. What the hell? Okay, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. This is where do we get a new poem each time we start this? A dream. I was wonder I was wandering around an abandoned warehouse at night. I was lost, looking for an exit. I just wanted to go home. I came upon a huge empty room. Its ceiling and walls were beyond the deep blackness. My steps were quick in order to hurry to the other side. Or to a wall. Anything. Suddenly the ground was no longer beneath my feet. I stepped into the hole of indeterminate width. Indeterminate width. I fell for a good five seconds before crashing into warm water. Figuring out which way was up, I surfaced myself. The air was humid and the sounds of my splashing reverberated endlessly. My vision was completely swallowed by the dark. With one hand, I could feel the damp metal roar of the container. My lungs were already getting tired. That's weird. Right. So, cutesy stuff, so fluffy. Uh, ooh, there is Snoot, uh, Fjord, uh, Nightgown, City, Hat, Holiday, Sweet, uh, Jigs, Fair, uh, Shiny, um, uh, Ruth, uh, Treasure, Penny, Lenny, uh, Ronnie, uh, Yay, Penny, Fly, Rose, Ah, Penny, Penny, Always Perfect City, Pass. There we go. Ah, here we go, here we go. Okay, so, there was a difference. Okay, so, we're good. I hit, okay, history. I can't have a nice and intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Nasuski is rumoured, rummaging around in the closet. Yeah. Search for a manga, probably. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her, in case she needs a hand. You're looking for something in there? Fucking manga! She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organised if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Nasuski slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Okay, so far it's the exact same as Act 1. Manga. You read manga, right? Ah, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into until you figure out where the other person stands. I'm into manga. I'll read manga all day. How did you know anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? Ah, I see. There's low volume, of, low mount, low lone volume of manga amidst its stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is. Nasiski snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right in the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box of one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box set she's admiring. Half eight girls. No idea if I said that right. This is a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's the other way out of my... It's, it's either way out of my demographic, or it's simply terrible. <laughs> out of your demographic, don't say it's terrible. If you're going to judge, you can do it through the glass on that door. She points at the classroom door. Hey, hey, I wasn't judging or anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Zinzaris. This is, this is a lesson. Don't judge a book by... Well, in fact, Nasuski puts out the first volume path for girls on the box. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the book right in my hands. Ah, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colourful attire, striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly moi. Or whatever, however you, however you pronounce that. Don't just stand there, huh? Nasuski grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsill. Mills, well... She pats the ground next to her, signaling me to sit her. Wouldn't, wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read it at the same time like that. Eh? Why is that? Oh, I guess it's easy to close together like this. If you don't just say that, it'll make me feel weird about it. Nasiski crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry, I didn't exactly expect to be sitting close to her either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Nasuski again inches again, inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin with to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? 
you don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then. Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've read the f already finished the f series. Hey, are you paying attention? Huh? I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. I can't. Deja vu for me. I kinda I grew out of these since it's a rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. Oh, hello. Oh, are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not, even though you're just watching me read. Well, I'm fine with that, if you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? You? Hmm? You don't? Uh, that's not. Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Ah, sorry. Hmm. Like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, eh, you still haven't grown out of there? Makes me want to punch him in the face. Ah, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge me. Who don't judge me. Much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I get gravitated towards the other losers over time. That's probably harder for someone like you. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. My dad would beat the shit out of me if he found this. Oh. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't wait, can I? Well, it's paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am, reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? So? Aha! <laughs> Jesus, enough. Are you going to keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flip the page. Time passes. Nesuski is strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. It looks like she's starting to fall asleep. Hey, Nesuski? Yeah? Suddenly, Nesuski collapses straight into me. Hey, hey, hey. Holy moly. What the? Oh, oh, jeez. Nesuski, are you okay? Yeah. There, here. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it in Nesuski's direction. Nesuski's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give... Mm. She doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry, Zazaris. She's fine. It just happens every now and then. That's what, is it, Are both Monica and... Mon Yuri and Nesuski are like this? That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway, what it will show, but share poems now. Okay, like I did with Yuri, I'm gonna do it with Nasuski first. I told Nasuski I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. Hmm? Okay, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um, Nasuski rereads my poem. N never mind. I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Huh? What's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this uh, when we could have been doing other things. Uh, in fact, I remember, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours, like Monica said. Mm. Well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, ha, ah, well, it's not that great, but let me sh show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. So, in other words, you're saying you liked it. Yep. Let's just give it a retort gets caught in her throat. You're so... You just... You don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that. You don't have to go announce it to the world like you're self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Nasiski must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Ugh, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Same as before. Yeah, I told you they weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in the high school thinks that writing out has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your messages any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things that can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up a rhyme at the end, 
that made it for flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. It gets more into it than I realised. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I started to humour with the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but as this kid's feeling proud, and I won't tear that away from her. Be sure to show my friend. No, Yuri, please. Hmm. Yuri stares at the phone. A minute passes more than enough for, of time for her to finish reading. Oh, sorry, I forgot to start speaking. I'm going to skip this and see if there's anything new. Nope, there isn't. Same with Monica. I'm going to skip it and see if there's anything new. Oh, I like it. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, no. Kind of makes me think it's something that Suzuki would write. And she's a really good writer, too. So, take that as a compliment. Ha ha ha. If you say so, yep. If you're interested in a Suzuki, then always keep a snack on you. She'll cling to you like a puppy. Ha ha ha. dad doesn't give her lunch and money or leave her any food in the house. So she's in a fussy mood pretty often. But sometimes she just loses all her strength and shuts down, obviously. Like earlier. This is just a guess, but I think she's most so small because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescence growth. But hey, some guys are into petty girls too, you know? Sorry, just trying to look at the bright side. That's not a good side. That's not good. Anyway, what do you want to read? Do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. Because I'm pretty confident for someone just kind of... Yeah, okay. Sounds before. Okay, we're seeing if there's anything new. Anything new? Wait, oh yeah. Okay, go with Nasuski. Okay, Nasuski, 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 Nasuski. Hello. Boop. Oh, okay. Hmm. Um. Hey, Zanzaris, why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Ah, some present I am, right? Can't even confront my own problems properly. I wish I was able to. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if it makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'll be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Nasiski runs out of the classroom. Oh god, here we go. She quickly runs away. We never do figure out what she said. Oh dear. Well, it looks like that done. I didn't mean it. Okay, let's just skip it. Anything new? Nope, that's it. Okay, right, that's part one. I'll see you next time in part two. Take care. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye. <sighs>